in my opinion, easiest way to get a real radio to work on an Xbox is to buy a PlayStation. All right, guys, what's happening? Sean Ames here from Heart of America FPV. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos about drones, specifically drone racing. I'm an addict. I've been doing this stuff for like five or six years now, and I can't get enough of it. One of the things that we utilize in drone racing are simulators. Simulator is a fancy word for a video game. Personally, I play a lot of the DRL simulator on my PC. I have a decent gaming computer that I use for work. I've got the luxury of a gaming computer. Callie, my daughter, has been flying more. She's trying to get better, so um, we set her up with a computer that can fly the DRL sim. But recently, I was helping a local kid get a drone set up and he got himself a really nice radio controller. He got a Radio Master TX16S, not this one, this one's mine, but this same radio. We were talking about the Sims and how that's a great way to learn how to fly. I asked him if he had a gaming computer. He didn't. He's got like a Mac laptop. That's probably not going to cut it. Asked him about consoles. Do you have a PlayStation? No, he doesn't have a PlayStation, but he did have an Xbox. Well, unfortunately, the worst console out there to try to fly these Sims on is an Xbox. So I went on this rabbit trail journey to try to figure out how to get the DRL Sim specifically because that's when I fly a lot how to get that sim working on an Xbox. So I got on Amazon, I bought a bunch of different crap. This is a uh, LeadJoy aimbot. It's supposed to be able to be used to use like third party controllers with Xbox because if you don't know, Xbox doesn't allow third party controllers natively on their system. So I tried this because it, it does that. I'm sure it'll work for a PlayStation controller. It works for like driving sims, like some of their wheels and stuff. It'll work for that. No dice. It did not work for a drone controller. Next, I tried this guy here, Wingman Converter XB2. It's supposed to do the same type of thing, right? It's got an app and blah, blah, blah. Same situation. It did not work at all for my actual drone controller trying to plug it into our Xbox. Because we got two Xboxes here at the house, so it'd be nice to be able to run those Sims on those Xboxes without using the actual Xbox controller, because that's toxic. Finally, I picked this up. This is the Titan One. It is sort of officially supported. I don't know if supported is the right word, but this is the ones that the guys over at DRL said. The Titan One, this you can get for around 70 bucks. I found one used for 40 bucks, which was cool. 40 bucks, I got this. There is a Titan Two that might have a slightly better experience it's like hard to find I mean you can find a link to it but you can't find where to buy it anywhere that's not like hundred and fifty bucks this is problematic though a few things if you're not familiar with drones this might be super foreign to you but there's a software that runs on our radios back in the day everyone ran a software on the radio called OpenTX OpenTX is kind of updated over time and now we're running a software called EdgeTX well guess what the newer versions of OpenTX and EdgeTX no dice. They will not work with this. <sighs> I'm just going to tell you right now, don't buy this. Don't run over to Amazon right now and buy this. Do not buy this. Don't buy this. I don't think you should. It's a waste of time. If you want to learn how to fly the sim, fly it with an Xbox controller on an Xbox if the Xbox is the only thing you have. But the way I was able to finally get this to work was I had an old Tyrannus that has an old version of OpenTX on it and it kind of worked. There's scripts that you have to load on this in the app. I won't get into it because you really shouldn't even mess with it. It's honestly not worth it, but there's scripts that you can get that run, and so I got it working. I, I don't have any video of me doing this because it was so miserable. It was the worst thing ever, ever. It was like incredibly latent. The buttons and everything were super finicky. It was a real true nightmare getting it to work. It did work. I was able to fly not well, and I was frustrated. I'm, I'm bummed out, to be honest. I wish that there was a way to run actual FPV radio controller on an Xbox, but I don't think that these are the ways, and so the primary reason I'm making this video is because there's a lot of smart people in this drone racing community. I, I made some posts in the Edge TX, the people that make the software now for this. And I'm curious, there are some GitHub projects where people have designed software that emulates an Xbox controller. And I'm wondering, could you, as a part of Edge TX, could an Xbox controller emulator actually be loaded onto the radio? And then when you plug it in, you select it, and then it emulates an Xbox controller. If that's something that could happen, and you're out there, and you're a software developer that's in this hobby, in my opinion, that is something, that is a project, that is some effort that would be well spent, because it'll help a lot of people get into this hobby, or at least have the opportunity to fly on a simulator. Drone racing, as you know, 
is there's a massive barrier of entry. It's hard to learn how to fly these drones for a lot of people. For me, it took me weeks before I could successfully fly a drone enough to deplete the battery. Like I only had one battery, but it was fine because I always broke the drone before I finished and actually like killed the battery. You know, after messing with this, after getting these, I'm gonna return them all to Amazon. After getting these, I was super defeated and I kind of came to this solution. Here's the solution if you've been looking for it in the silly video. In my opinion, the easiest way to get, at this point in time, a real radio, Radio Master TX-16S, a Tyrannus, a real radio, the easiest way to get a real radio to work on an Xbox is to buy a PlayStation. Just go out there, find yourself a cheap PlayStation 4. There's a PlayStation 5 out now. PlayStation 5, I don't know if it's even compatible with The Sims, but I know that the PlayStation 4 is, and a lot of times you can find them. I found one used that I tested. I'll put some clips up here of me flying on the PlayStation 4 with the radio, and it worked. I mean, it's not as good as my gaming computer, but that's fine, right? My gaming computer is, I don't wanna get flexy, but it's much more expensive than an, a PlayStation 4. I've got a lot of frames, I've got a high refresh rate monitor. My gaming computer is phenomenal for playing The Sim. The PlayStation 4 is a great way for you to learn. It was a little bit latent, nothing like the Xbox. It was a decent, enjoyable experience flying the drone on the PlayStation. It was a little weird. Some of the hit boxes felt smaller, so it seemed on the PlayStation it was a little harder to crash, maybe? I don't know if they do that just to make it easier on the PlayStation guys or what, but I found the experience to be okay. I was able to fly with my controller. It worked well. I just plugged it in and set it up. It was super straightforward and uh, that's the way. If you want to play DRL sim, if you want to play the DCL sim and you got an Xbox, just buy a PlayStation. Yeah, 160 bucks is a lot. Honestly, it's about half the cost of a drone. It's it's well worth it. When I was flying the sim on the PlayStation, I probably flew for 20 or 30 minutes and I was able to put up like a top 30 time on one of the tracks, which is hard. That's no, you know, if you're flying in the top 30 on these tracks on the DRL sim, you're probably pretty good. So I would say that it is definitely viable to be able to fly a drone in a sim on a PlayStation 4. So that's my tip to you. If you are thinking about trying to get a sim on your Xbox to work with your radio, don't. Now, things change over time. So if, if they do figure out a way to maybe emulate an Xbox controller inside the radio, or if there's even an Arduino project that someone does that lets you plug your radio in it that doesn't cause a bunch of latency and that kind of thing, um, I will make a new video and link it in the description of this video so you can find it. That's it guys. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you did enjoy this video, I've got an affiliate link down in the comments to 533, my favorite shop for drone parts on the internet. It's an affiliate link. If you click it, if you buy something, it'll help me out. I will appreciate it, but thanks for checking this out and we're going to catch you next time on Heart of America FPV. Later.